Hi, John here. Today is uh, Sunday, the 3rd of uh, December 2017. I'm just on the subject of uh, Hori Tukuri uh, up in uh, Tahiki, Marae. And um, statements I'm making tomorrow uh, here with uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini, or in short, Manahi Mohini. Uh, he's uh, speaking for uh, Moriori, Manukau, Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau in Mangatauteri Mountain, Pa, Marae, in Cambridge. Uh, and also that's a contract with um, King George IV, 1822-1830 period. Uh, he sold the whole of New Zealand country and the Pacific Islands because the British was going to take it anyway. So it was best in a contract to hold it in their tribe. And that's who the British picked out, the Moriori, ahead of anybody else that's climbing all over the lands. And it's dated, our history is dated for the Moriori at about 1100, 9, uh, 11, 10, 100 to 1100. And the um, uh, coupes was 900 or 800. But that one wasn't wearing with, uh, with the uh, British government. That's only with the New South Wales and New Zealand government title. Um, second to the uh, original British title deeds in Rawini Native Court uh, at the time of Russell. Uh, Lord Russell, Lord John Russell, uh, became the, um, um, the representative for the uh, colonial office here. Uh, in 1839 and then he became Prime Minister of Britain in 1840. Thereon, the uh, titles of uh, Russell family in that area of Tahiki and um, um, uh, uh, Tahiki and uh, Rawini and um, the other place where the treaty was signed. Um, oh, I, can't, I, I can't think of it at the moment. Anyway, just a little tired. But um, uh, that, um, that title remains intact with um, the Moriori um, descendant, uh, Manahi. He's living resident in uh, Tahike uh, Horeke Road. Uh, and um, uh, that uh, church mission house. And Mangungu, that's a bit of right that name. Mangungu, that's the name of Slipney. Mangungu. Mangungu. Um, Methodist Church is there and the Mission House. That formed the basis of where the um, uh, ships were built for spas in Horeke. At the time, uh, the village was um, prominent with uh, British settlers and their titles and deeds of title put together in the Rawane Native Court. Now I'm going on that basis of contract uh, from Te Waikato in 1828 and 1830 to uh, transfer the land from Te Waikato to Refere for Manukau uh, in uh, Manukau Marae in Afitu in the southern end of um, Manukau Harbour and also Puponga uh, Marae Pa site at Cornwallis uh, on the north side of the harbour. That was Referefa Manukau's mainstay and also in Awaroa 10 acre block in uh, Helensville. That was the other marae there. On the uh, 10 acre block, the Awaroa native court um, of Rogan um, in the Manukau family. Titles. Uh, so those names Russell, Rogan, uh, 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 connected to my family, uh, both of them, from Ireland, Northern Ireland, with the Cosgrove lawyers in my family. So I'm holding those um, coat of arms in Belfast uh, for these Irish um, immigrants, um, the Rogans, the Russell, and the Cosgrove uh, in that area. Dublin, I think um, the Russells came from, but Cosgrove and um, um, uh, Rogan from um, Irish from um, Belfast and St. Patrick's. Um, 
church, St. Patrick is buried there, and that comes under King William III. All these titles have been consolidated into the King William IV uh, flags, sovereign authority, the 1834 uh, declaration of war on pirates uh, who get in the road, uh, as they have now. Uh, we are enforcing that law of uh, King William III, uh, King William IV's Acts of Westminster Parliament, 1837 period, on the people we name now uh, as uh, criminals in the Iwi Maori, uh, trustees and the um, uh, Waitangi National Trust and the New Zealand Government Crown Corporations, private companies, uh, New Zealand Police private companies, International New Zealand private companies, NZ Invest private company, NZ Police private company, all now have a three day notice from tomorrow with me and Manahi Parapara Mohini, the uh, descendant of Moriori Manakao Tirawakato Whareheri in Manakao from Cambridge, among the, among the Totori Mountain Par site, and also the Referef for Manakao from his Manakao Harbour, two par sites, and also Awaroa. Uh, Native Magistrate Court in Hillendrill. Those are his sites and also Rafferty, Rafferty his, uh, his site up there on the Mona, his burial site there, Referee for Monica. Okay, so those are all the uh, titles that the British are holding in Rawani with uh, Maura Hoffman, my friend. I've just got a book from her, I'm just going to show you that. Coming about, right here, she's posted in English to John Wanoa, Ocean Beach, Bar 16, Park Avenue, Avenue, over there. From um, Fenton Street, Rotorua. Uh, and the book is here somewhere. That's its package here. I'm just making this, citing this evidence of Maura Hoffman Russell. Her maiden name, Russell, has just sent me by Courier to John Wanoa here. This book here of the history of the Russell family. Here. Don't steal this bloody book. N.G. Russell. Okay, I won't steal it. There, that's the history of Lord Russell, Lord John Russell, the Whakapapa of the Russell, Rata Moetara. Right there. Okay, so I'm being through it. I've had a look through it. I'll return to uh, Maura when I finish with it. She says, take your time, but it's going to diffuse all myths that are inside the Waitangi Marae and their treaty claims are fraudulent, judging by what I'm seeing in here. It says here, in 1834, a 40-ton schooner was built at Horeke for Clendon and Stevenson. This boat was called Fanny. George Frederick stayed at Horeke for six, for eight years and during this period he bought eight blocks of land, mainly Kauri Forest in the Waiho, Mangamuka area, depositing, disposing of them prior to purchasing some Kohu land in June 1839. By this time he had parted company with the McDonald and had his own timber mill built in Coco in the bay just below and on the right hand side of his home, which was on the hill jutting out and overlooking the river and mill. He did a roaring trade sending shipments of spars and squared timber for London and other markets. There we go. He was already trading. In 1833, in, 80, in January 1831, the, the shipbuilding business was up for sale in Sydney and George Frederick went over to the sale with uh, McDonnell, with McDonnell, Mr. McDonnell, where they bought the business and the remaining boat, Sir George Murray. Mr. Russell sailed the boat back to Hokianga and took possession of Horeke, where he stayed as partner and manager. Also this year a son Arthur was born to George Frederick and Hotonga 
who were now living in the home they had built on the a mill on the hill directly above the Kohoku Wharf overlooking the beautiful Hokianga River uh, River above Kohoku. Uh, sadly, in 1833, at the age of 23, Hotonga died, leaving a young family. Emily, the latest, eldest child, was only four years old. William, three years, and Arthur, two years. So this is a book, people, that um, I'm going through at the moment, um, of information that will put the history right, right where I'm saying, it belongs to uh, Hori Tikuri on top of the Maunga and not Rahiri. Rahiri wasn't around at the time of contracts and that 1834 declaration of war flag, Bundy Waitai, is for trade and this contract. You must have had an original contract with King George IV that's what Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manikau put together to sell this whole country and the Pacific Islands to the Crown because they were going to take it anyway or, or, or the French were going to take it. They were already here to take the whole place. If there wasn't a contract, you wouldn't have had nothing to go on. They would have had it outright and it, you would have been nothing to go on. This is why Mohi Manikau set up the Confederation of chiefs to bring everybody together under this flag jurisdiction of his two punas and a referee for Manukau between 1830 and 1837 of King William IV. That flag was given for this contract that is in this book, The History Bundy. There's no way that flag is for Rahiri or anybody, Nakuri or anybody flying it because it's not going to work outside of this confederation that Mohi shut down with me. I was his executor and his scribe. I have all the history here put together right through that area up there from Rafi across up to Tereangawaru, down through Hokianga, down through Kaipara, down through the Manukau, down through the Waikato, through Puronia and down to Ratna where he was with the Rogans and his family and the Wainor family is together down there. All right. So between Mohi and Rogan, they had constructed this confederation of chiefs under that title contract, private contract, nobody's business. I've picked it up and gone with it. It's nobody to be interfering with it tomorrow. I will make a ruling with Manahi to have a 72 hour notice on video YouTube for any Iwi Maori authority, any group of people who think they've got better information than what I've got in my hand here and better information about your tūpuna, whether it be Rahini or, or someone else or Tororo or Ngāti Kahu or, or, or uh, Ngāti Kawa, you'll have to come out with something better than the British because they put all the law you've got together in the New South Wales from these kings and Russell who became the Prime Minister of Britain from being the uh, foreign uh, um, representative for, for New Zealand in 1839 um, before he went to Britain um, Lord John Russell, the colonial uh, State, Secretary of State for the Colonial uh, Office in 1839 um, at Kororareka, Okiato, set up the native court there and also started off the uh, government at Rawani Native Court and also the Mission House at um, Mangungu uh, where the Methodist Church is and the grave sites are there for Russell and others, the other Russell families. Uh, so there we have London here, look, London here, and New Zealand here, Hokianga. Ma, look, people, uh, that's what I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you any more about it because that's my business to know and you to find out.
that's all I'm showing you. The front top of the Russell Rata, Moetara, Na Venus, McGill, Nor Tauranga. There's London there, the ship of Admiralty with the flag flying on the top, the British ship, a Morai, and some big curry trees, and New Zealand and Hokianga, right there. That is the title, people, that Morris Baker is holding fast to his Hori Tikuri. Goes with this book and what I'm reading. I've been through it last night, right through this book. And Whakapapas here. Okay, all the Whakapapas here. I'm following these Whakapapas of where they go. And Rahiri being there at the top. But on the way down, it lands up with the Russells inside the Whakapapas. And I'm not going to talk to you about that. But I'm just saying, um, I'm a good friend of um, um, Maura Hoffman, German, um, Russell, English, and um, um, she has kindly given me her whakapapa into her own private business of who they are and what happened. That's for us to know and for you to find out. It's none of anybody's business, but between me and Britain, this is the closest you'll ever get to the Prime Minister of Britain. I'm just making this statement right in front of you. Um, people watching what I do. I have the legal right to be a Native Land Commissioner with the right surname Wano and with uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini as the oldest name with Manukau and, and Parapara to claim the, um, the Te Rawaiato Whare Here Here Manukau, 1830, King George IV title, deeds of transfer into the British Crown Corporation in Westminster Parliament and Westminster Magistrate Court from Edinburgh Magistrate Court. And also Refer from Manukau, Refer from Manukau, um, uh, 1830 to 1837 King William IV and the 1834 flag here that goes with that contract. It is a contract flag, Bundy. It is not for a new Whakamininga. It is for the old Whakamininga that Mohi Manuka was trying to put together and no Ngāpui was going to wear that. They wanted their own. Well, I have you know that the British won't be entertaining any new contracts that you make or any Maori government makes with that flag, you're really flying it for no reason other than to support the government on the other side that are going to get the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note for treason and for extortion of our trust in them running this country and taking the money for themselves and their own private investment interests and not the interests of our paramount chiefs and their original hapu and the people of New Zealand, the public of New Zealand, the people who helped to build this country. I can identify as anyone who has got onto this land through these authorities straight from Britain. Uh, Bundy and, and Hiruini, uh, this is going deeper than what you can ever go through because I've been 20 years at this and I know all the land blocks back to front as a real estate agent I should know what I'm doing. There's Frederick George Russell there. I'm just going to skip over this quite quickly and uh, Nuku Tafiti up the top of the Whakapapa. And it comes down, I'm just going through it, and um, Annie Cook, that's one of, and John Webster, and Arthur. Right, that's all I'll go to. Um, really, it's got Whakapapa all the way through, people. I can check all the Whakapapas of all the white girls. And all the black boys, I got you covered. Rahiri goes from Rahiri down, and I'm going to look to see who's 
there's lots of strings of of Walters, Walter, Morgans, Howard Morgan, 280 Morgan, Fido Morgan. So those are some families coming off it. Daniel, that's that's Morris Baker's wife's surname, Daniel. Right? And Oma Piri. Okaiho. Ah, there we go. The Daniels settled in Okaiho. So that's um, uh, Mary Ann, um, Morris Baker's wife, Mary Ann Daniel, right here in Okaiho. So I got her stuck to the land with Morris and Hori Tiku. Uh, we've got um, William Walter's first wife. Uh, come down that line. Okay. Okay. Daniel swears in 1893. 1884. Frederick Russell. These are all the offsprings. I uh, just want to go through. Um, I'll just pick up, pick off the fucker fucker. Annie Cook, William Russell and Annie Cook, she's just getting into Morris Baker's line. Um, all the whakapapas are all strung right through the book. Most of this is whakapapa, but then it's got some stories and photos of their families. Photos of their Russell families in the different areas. I just want to pick out a name here, Russell of London. John William Russell, married to Elizabeth Moody. I can go on and on, but I'm not going to. Just give me a little bit of ice cream. I can see where the fucker papa is stringing off here. The real fucker papa, not the one that the Crown New South Wales and New Zealand put together. I go on this one. I go on this whakapapa. It's coming out of Rahiri in that area. So Rahiri does not come into the conflict. I'm, I'm telling you Bundy and Puraho, you guys can't reach back on a 1840 treaty that you're playing around with, the Queen. You're stuck on 1840. You can't entertain any way back because you've got no contract. You, you can only stick to Whakapapa, which has no bearing on commerce and money and everything that's built this place. If you want it back, you'll have to pay for it. Full amount of what people are on the land because I'm here to account for everything that's been built here. And everybody living on this place has a right to be there. A legal right to be there, except the fraudsters. I'm getting rid of them. I'm going to boot them right out of this country and strip them of everything and just put them on a tin boat and let them go. Put them on the next Japanese container ship and they can have them. That's why I mean it. Because I've been suffering all these years, 68 years, with all this racket going on. Can't even get on one of my land blocks. 31 of them I counted last night. 31 of them. I put them on Facebook. 31 land blocks. I can't even get on one of them because the trustee's office and uh, Tumutumu Pairo says I'm not a farmer. That's why I can't. But with all this stuff I've got going on, what do you think I'm going to do to them after tomorrow? What do you think I'm going to do to those people who've been blocking me all these years? Tumutumu Pairo and all those bastard trustees. What, what do you think I'm going to do to them for stopping me going on a block with everything I've got online? And they haven't got a brass rising. Just myth and fake titles that I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to wrap it up because I have the authority to do that to you with this book. With this book. Okay, you can't lie to me with your fucker puppets, none of you, because I'm looking at it right here. I'm so privileged to have this book, but you can't see it. All them fucker puppets all the way from where Rahari's come. 
So I'm going on contract, Bundy. End this fuck, Papa, because all the white bits in you come from this book. And it's gone back into Westminster with Russell from here. And he's taken back all the real chiefs, not the homemade ones. I know all the Kuri ones up there now with what uh, Morris has given me. So I'm just going to ring um, this secretary for this trust and talk to her before the video runs out. I'll get her on the video. Tanya Barnes, she's very good. So Tanya, I'm going to give you a ring. Where's my phone? Here. My trusty phone. Video. To the world. Okay, here we go. So oh, who's been messaging me? Spark, okay. All right. I like it. She You've got through to voicemail for zero two two zero eight zero seven two two oh. Just leave a message after the tone, then hang up and press the hash key. Hi Tony, it's John One or here. Um can you put your your email on? Uh, I mean, not your email, your Facebook, and uh, start downloading some of the documents I've got there for um, Hori to Kuri, uh, because I'm going ahead next week now to wrap it all up. I'll be there to the court hearing with uh, Morris. I'll, I'll go back with him when he comes down to the meeting here uh, to wrap up everything on the uh, history there. I've got Maura Hoffman's book on all that area so no one's going to crook all that um, history. I'll, I'll put that right and um, it's got all the whakapapas there to check out on. So um, you'll be privy to that with Morris and he's um, going to take charge of um, that um, maunga and um, urupaha and the way it's being rearranged uh, we're going to start correcting it um, uh, next time I'm there. Okay? So that's all for now. Um, just get to contact with me on this number and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, bye. <coughs> so that's uh, Tania Barnes. Uh, she was at the Hui on the 18th of November 2017 at uh, Tahiki Mara with uh, Morris and uh, myself um, put on that Hui and um, uh, we're claiming uh, Hori Tikuri as the chief of the British titles and here this of Lord John Russell and others in the Whakapapa that Moira Hoffman Russell from the Russell family has given me their Whakapapa book to check on everyone from around that Hokianga area she lived in Rawani and Horeke, where the shipping was built, all the ships were built there, and shipped for Clendon. The Clendon came onto my land block at Rangitukia and strung together the native uh, magistrate court there and bank, and also strung together the first death and marriages, the first best death and uh, first death and marriages in the world. 1831 in Tiki Tiki St. Mary's Church. That's on my Lembok and my own Rahui Marae and Urupa with all the Wanoas in it, right there. Okay? So that's where I used to work as a mechanic in the garage, Sid Yates garage, Tiki Tiki, and played for Nati rugby football team. And also worked on the oil rigs um, with Tikapa, same. Um, Todd Exploration Borneo uh, Oil Drilling Company and, and um, Tipuya Springs up on the land block there. Uh, so that's a bit of history of me being there in the area. 
and um, lived around in Tiki Tiki uh, at the time. Uh, from that period of time uh, with um, um, Manhi, Parapara Mohini, he's from Rangituki as well. And uh, with him being in the Hokianga with his wife there in that area of um, um, Horiki and, and Okaiho, uh, which is just out from um, east of um, uh, Kaikohi. Uh, he's on the Horiki Tahika Road going around to back to um, Mangungu um, Mission House, where all this went on and the Rawani native court here in, in this book uh, is very crucial for me to wrap up everything next week and I'm going to uh, make sure that the history is put on the record straight from here uh, with Moira Hopman Russell with me and our management team uh, to be there as witness and to um, assist with us in the resurrection of the British families who arrived here and been knocked around uh, as much as I have by the chiefs of Ngāpui, Pui, and um, uh, the government of New South Wales and New Zealand pirates, uh, convicts that are still running the government in the Beehive Wellington. You're on notice. I'm giving you politicians 72 hours to refute what I'm going to say on video tomorrow on YouTube to you that you'll have 72 hours that's all you're going to get because I've been putting it on notice for the last few years and ignorance is not going to win out this time I'm making a ruling as the native land commissioner of New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the world for that matter with this book of Russell, the Russell family, and the Baker family, Cosgrove family, and the Rogan family, who I represent as their partner in a commercial trading bank, private company of Admiralty Magistrate Courts business, partnership of Admiralty, of King William IV. 1834 declaration of war flag on all of you pirates who I've been naming for years. You can't take your name off. You're stuck there, John Key. I'm giving you 72 hours from tomorrow to refute what I'm saying about you as a criminal fraudster, bank fraudster, treason with the Queen Elizabeth, both in treason, and defrauded the public of New Zealand and especially defrauded me and the Paramount Chiefs Mani, Parapara Mahini and Morris Lobo Baker. The three of us. There was five but now there's three. Bundy and Hedewini have chosen to go their own way. And with their Poroho and his Waitaha uh, organisation with Danny Watson in their um, headquarters in Kaikohu. Thanks for the uh, hospitality, but we're on a contract basis here of whose title and whose tupunas are you using for your authority in legal terms of jurisdiction of law and order and titles. Do not use this book, Bundy, or Hedemini, or anybody, because you'll get a trillion pound on your head, and the British Navy military is our partner in this contract flag business, and I'm its executor, and the executor for the Manukau Parapara Trust. Moriori Trust with Mani Mohini here tomorrow to make a statement right in front of you on YouTube to claim Huri Takuri as the chief 
of Comet in the land the British have put as the deed title holder. Unless any of you have got a deed title to Britain, clear of anybody else, your own name on it, in a contract, this is a contract flag, you cannot start a new contract or a new Whakabininga Bundy with this flag because you'll be violating these people here who bought the law from Britain on the ship of Admiralty and this flag and gave it to Lefere Whamanika on behalf of his ancestor Te Rawaikato Wharehere Here Manukau from Mangatauteri Mountain Pa Site Marae. Now there's no history on it, they got rid of it. And Napoli and Ngati Whātua or Kaipara and also Ngati Whātua or Orake forged Te Rawaikato's name, cut it in half and used Te Rawaikato as a woman for their Ngati Whātua Iwi Māori Trust Whakapapa. Now, out of that, Te Rorua, Ngāti Kawa, Ngāti Kahu, and all the other tribal areas under the Treaty of Waitangi claims, all the treaty claims with all those claimants in it, including Tuhoya and all the ones down the line, you're all third parties to this flag. I'm afraid to say that's how I'm looking at it in this book. That's the way I'm looking at it in this book, right here with London and Hokianga on it. Right, this is a Russell family book, people, with all this fuck up over here. And it's got Rahiri at the top and Kupe, but they're not commercial. You can't stick them to the commercial Bundy or anybody else. With your treaty claims, you cannot stick. Kupe or Rahe or anybody before 1840 to your claims in a court of law frying this flag. Uh-uh. It's only 1820 to 1830 to 1834 with Te Rawaikato, Whare Here Here Manaka from Mangatauteri Mountain and Cambridge to Cambridge, England and Refere for Manaka from Manaka Harbour, Manaka Marae in Afitu. The Minhenik stole that. Your name's in here. I can see right through you. You stole it because you're on the land blocks at Taheke and in that area up there. Fidelaki, where the, the timber people got the logs from, on the power forest, all those logs, to bring them to the harbour there. I've got it all. Minhenik stole the Fidel for Manikau's Marae at Afitu on the south end of the Manukau Harbour. And Ngāti Whātua Auraki stole the Manukau referee for Manukau's marae at Cornwallis and mysteriously Simons, William Simons disappeared a year after he got here with that Manukau title. They switched it. The New Zealand, New South Wales Company, New Zealand Company, switched Referefa title, title, switched Referefa Manukau's title that William Simons, son of Lieutenant William Simons, Cornwallis Simons from Edinburgh Magistrate Court. I know, I can get it right out of here. I read it, I read this book right through last night. Skipped right through it. Fast reading. I can just pick up the names from what I've already got beyond this couch here with all Mohi Manukau's history and the Rogan's history and all the treaty claims, the big treaty claim books. I've gone right through them and I've picked out everything, I just about know everything from those books but I'm picking up fresh stuff, raw to the bone, right here, better than anything else in this world. Okay, you get that? I'm making a statement here on this video. It's going straight onto YouTube, raw. That any of you people in this country who can 
refute what I'm saying on this video, that you are crooked, thieving, thug pirates in Wellington, government, and Nazi Fatu Auraki, and Rafna Church down in Wanganui. You are a pack of thugs because I've caught you out in Lobo, Morris Baker's Ratna Church house that I sleep in. I'm going up there. Next week I'll go back and sleep in that church again because I get the vibes from it of all the dirty little tricks you bastards have been up to all this time in that you Hayward Brown, you are a bastard of a thug who hated me talking on Titi Marai. And as much as I'm Kingi Todor's friend with his Ngāti Rahiri tribe and all the people in Ngāti Rahiri, fine, that's fine, because it's in here with Kupe, right at the top. All the whakapapas come out of those two, all the way through, all those whakapapas, they lead off and it leads the right path that the Russells put, not what you fellas put in the treaty claims. Got it? You've gone and twisted it. You can't fool me, you can't fool a Moai. You can fool a Maori, but not a Moai. That's why I got out of being Maori. Because the Maori was invented by the Pakia pirates, thugs from New South Wales. Your lot, Alfred Mitchell. You got a problem, mate. You and Georgie Job are out of it. Take that flag off your neck, mate, because it's not going to get you anywhere. You've got no contract. You can fly it around the place, but it's not going to get you anywhere. You know why? Because you haven't been in it as deep as I have for so long. All my life I've dedicated my life to it in the 20 years I've been with Mohi Manikau to pick up what's wrong with this country and who's the thugs. I'm picking you as a thug, Alfred Mitchell, because it was your ancestor that's hold their fucking names. Right? Your family and then bugger off back to Sydney where you came from in the first place. Right? Alright? You got that? I'm telling you. I told you. And then Georgie Job. You know you fellas are offensive to me. Because I'm carrying an original native surname just like Manahi, Parapara, Mohini. Those are old names that were here before you fucking lot came. With these lot on the boat. Okay? That's what happens. It's got London on here. It doesn't say New South Wales. It says London. Can you see London? Right? To Hokianga. Over here. London to Hokianga. It doesn't say Australia to you thugs. That was Mitchell. I say this because you, you and Georgie John put a whole bloody racket together in that binded book you did of me. You're going to get a bill on there, a trillion pounds each. I'm saying on this video right now. You get, a, you get it on your head, the same as you lot in Titi. You all get a trillion pounds on your head. Your queen can pay for the rest of it. And all the other thugs who are running your, your business counter to this flag and the king and a chief, a real chief, an original chief with an original name that you bastards fucked around all this time screwing and screwing my lot, my family. With you pirates in Australia, that's the end for you. Those uh, originates in Australia, get ready to get your land back because we're just about ready to take this fucking land back. And the same in all the other indigenous countries. And you, President Rodriguez Duterte in the Philippines, I'm coming to your country to see my new little darling and I'll come and have a talk to you about all that gold that's buried over there that you can't touch. 1.7 million metric tons of gold. You can have your little slice about looking after it. And all that gold in the Caribbean, that belongs to King William III. That's, we've got a hold on that, which belongs to us and the Dutch. And King William III Dutchman. In Brussels, all that money that's in Switzerland, all that, where that came from. It's come out of this flag of the kings, King William III to King George III and his sons King George IV, King William IV and King Ernest Augustus I 
and then to us, my contract partners. Okay, there's only three I can count at the hui. I can I can vouch that there was John uh, Tehana there, and Willie Pinto was there, and also uh, Timmy Heinger. Although Timmy gave me a hard time, I can understand his frustration about not knowing enough about what this flag is about and who's 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 the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm going to live in in, in Philippines. I don't I don't need to be here. I'm going where the flag's gone around the world, and it's safe over here. At least you won't get knocked over here like like they're doing in London and strung up and shot dead in other countries, in Italy and, and Spain, the countries that stole all the money and everything off the other countries, then displaced everybody, they're getting banged in the head now. We wonder why it hasn't happened yet. yet. It's just about to if we don't stop it. And none of you can stop it, Alfred Mitchell and Paul Ho You fellas can't stop it because you've got no authority under your name. You change your name around, Paul Ho it's not looking good for you and you people that are eerie fairy without standing and putting your face on a YouTube and making statements that can counter what I'm saying. If you don't put any video on this YouTube channel, then I'm afraid the law applies this way in this book against you. The British can see what I do. They can't see what you do. The whole world can see what I'm doing. They can't see what you do. The British know I've got this book now, because I'm just showing you. You've only seen one, two pages, not the rest of it. None of your business. Okay? And I'll show you what I'm doing here online before the video runs out. Now, here. I've just made this video. I've, I've left these videos for the last of this offensive um, um, Rooker, there's your 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 memorial here. Uh, put a hope. What's this doing here? It's got no body underneath there, and on this other side, uh, birch. The birch. There's birch there. Look, read it. Birch. Thomas Birch. What what what's his memorial doing there? And this and this memorial here with all the fucker pups on it. Th th Rooker, this yeah, is Adrian, that's Morris's brother. And they're from Waitaka, that's that Yeah, yeah. He's telling the story. <laughs> Here's, here, here. I'm just showing you. The Whaka Papa, I, I don't have an issue with the Whaka Papa. It's the way they put it up there. It's how they went about putting it up there. Oh, shucks, it's gone and jumped. Of the, oh, while I'm here, this is Morris um, uh, Lobo Baker. He's telling his story about Hori Takuri. Okay? You can see how many people have come to claim Hori Takuri. It should have been full in here. And this is all we had. So this is, I made a ruling on who turned up. And there was only Morris and Manahi there with his wife to claim Hori Takuri and Morris's brother Adrian and some others in the family that were there. I can't think of their names. I've got them on the list here of the Ridge Street that uh, I got. Uh, so I'll just knock this one out. That's Morris, my friend. I'm going up. He's living in the, in the church, the Ratna church. They abandoned their church, Ratna. That's very offensive for them to abandon it, then go and sit their own one up in Ratna and, and took that Whakapapa and title down to Wanganui and then set themselves up there with the Rogans and away they went. You see what he's saying? Kore sake. Now listen to him for a minute. This is six years ago. I went to Tokyo. Nothing on what's happening. when I come off that Takuri line. Well, see, now, Hori Takuri, he's son here of mine. That's my grandmother's father. Me. Now, here of mine. Here of mine married 
que ele queira cor. Telling the story. That was the second minute man. But the first one was the eight And then the third one was my grandmother. Mum too. Not that you didn't know. Wow. But they knew art. Never asked. asked. <laughs> I said, well, that's my mother's sister. <laughs> my mother. Well, silly, eh? I said, well, how can I be your nephew? I said, really? I think you come under me, not me come under you. <laughs> <laughs> Rao was getting in the play in the way. Put Rao was getting in the way. Where will you come on? I said, well, which one do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, they are some silly thing. I think you know, I got them in the end. Now they're very careful on how they talk to me. Yeah. Well, so they do. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, John, you took the other side, John. My mother said, no, kings. Yeah, well, no, my mother was a king. So no, there you go, I just go back. I was born in Orina there, John Happy Valley Road. Right down here in the Happy Valley. That's I'll go back, I'll thought. go back to the, the last video here. because it jumped. I school over here in that naked school. The video before this one here. I want to go back to the what yeah, we're not there, this one. This. The, their families will bury around where they are. With the Ruka here. Claiming this and you've you follow us up lower over there. So all, all, all of it. And, and, and occupy that. Down here. That, the, there. Shall, uh, there you that, that one, the Ruka. There. there, there, there. The, the birch. Birch. And the Ruka. The, the Ruka. Ruka. Yeah, Ruka. Ruka. Stick the head of you follow us. <laughs> and, then, and they're from Waikai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here we go, people. Yeah. And see the temple, look. The temple. This, this, the temple, right? I'm, I'm, you see, that's why I just locked this. He's here on the ground in Okiana, hoping you fellas will do the same. <laughs> so that's us. Yeah.
Go back here. Fox Younger. Hoping you follow. I'll go back to. Um, um, uh, yeah, on there. To to put them cl from getting to you fellows over there. Uh, closest to the two foot. Sit at the top of the mound. Yeah. Um, to a kind of invest. But anyway, I'm uh, saying um, with this um, a blessed. Uh, and it's, um, it hasn't got a cross on it to King George or King William on the flag. It's got a temple. And that says nothing about the relationship between Britain and um, um, the flag of King William IV that they're wearing and throwing around the place. So, so there, there, there is that memorial on the top, you see? Now there's no no sign of King George's Red Cross, nothing at all. Just this here. I just want to show you what I'm talking about. What what Lobo was talking about. This memorial. Now, can someone explain what this meant and what's it doing on the hill in front of Lobo's family? It's punked itself there ahead of Lobo's family. And it's got fuck up on there. Yeah, there, there. Have take a good look. What does this represent? People, what does this represent? I need someone to tell me on this video. When I put it up on YouTube, what does that represent? And the fucker papa that goes with it on here, Rahidi. And all the tupuners that That's are it? supposed to have signed at um, Mangungu Mission House. He's here on the ground. Okay, all, all this fucker papa. How can we follow Do the fucker papa? <laughs> can't find it here. So that's us. Oh, I've missed it. I've got it on another video. Yeah, here, yeah. over here. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah. 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 I saw it back here. Yes, offensive it's just here. There. There's the fucker papas there. And that's Adrian uh, Baker.